Well, I was going to greet you guys with a sound effect, but uh, we, we, we'll have a little technical difficulty there. How is everybody on a Friday? There. <laughs> That's the chair drop just works, man. Uh, thank you, Kenneth. Uh, look, we got a lot to do today, and I, I want to I wanna wake up football fans. I want to wake up football fans. Because it's been interesting. This week, Piston fans have filled the lines. Red Wing fans filled the lines yesterday. But the Lions, are you in a bit of a hangover? NFC North champion, you overdo it a little bit? Got a little hangover? Are you resigned to your fate this weekend? Are you one of those people who thinks you have no chance? Because Lion fans been awful quiet this week. Just like Michigan fan. You've been nowhere. I gave a full preview of the game. I actually think Michigan's going to win this game. Gave you reasons why. You can go to YouTube and watch it or podcast and listen to it. But you've been nowhere. I'm trying to figure out why everyone is so damn quiet before two of the biggest games of the year. And you heard Beanie in the update. It is very interesting what's going on with this Cowboy game. And it does give me pause is that I did start the week thinking, you know what? Lions are set up to lose this one. It's no crime. Cowboys have lost two in a row on the road. They're coming home. You're being told how pretty you are all week. That emotional win. You're set up to lose. There's no reason the point spread has gone from six to four and a half. None. We don't have news that Tyron Smith is not playing. Instead, I've been hearing he's going to. We don't have planet Earth betting on the Lions, right? We don't We don't have this huge thing where naturally the line would get smaller because everyone's picking them. That's not happening. Something, the right people are betting on the Lions to move that line, which gives me pause. You can laugh at that stuff. I know the the dim-witted, some listeners, some people at this station, don't value betting data, and they miss out because sometimes things just go a certain way and it gives you an indication of how it will play out. I just would love to know where Lion fans are. I'd love to know, are you being quiet because you're content? Are you quiet because you're scared bleepless that the good vibes are going to go out the window and the Cowboys are just going to pound your bleep into the dirt? And if you're a Michigan fan, I don't know. Are you scared? Is that what this is? I mean, I don't think you should be scared. I wonder if the game is actually scaring you or if narratives are. Oh, my God, it's Bama. And? Oh, my God, it's Nick Saban. Here's the difference. Bryce Young's not coming out of that tunnel. Julio Jones is not coming out of that tunnel. Mark Ingram Jr., Derrick Henry, they're not coming out of that tunnel. This is a good Alabama team. I don't think it's a great one. I wonder if you're scared about things that are real or imagined. The fact that you've shown your ass in the playoffs two straight years. Or that Harbaugh's lost six straight bowls. Is that what's got you scared? I'd say, is it the logo on the other helmet? But Bama doesn't have a logo. They just put numbers there. But you get my point. Is it who you're playing? That if I took the the helmet and uniform off of Alabama and I just put someone else there with the same profile, the same players, would you be this scared? So I kind of want to combo meal it. I think I want to do Lions and Michigan at the same time and just get into it. And no, I'm not sitting here telling you I have the highest degree of confidence in either team. Uh, I have no problem if you're a Lions fan thinking you can get this done. And I actually would have a problem if you're a Michigan fan and you don't believe you can get it done. I'd have a problem with you. You're one and a half point favorites here. You know, you're not 13 and a half point dogs. You're the favorite against Alabama. And I think you do have some matchup advantages that I pointed out in a 15-minute segment yesterday. But you've been nowhere. 
It's just interesting to me. So let's go down that path. David, a bit under the weather, wearing a hideous sweatshirt, but we're happy for him. Uh, Kenny has a hot take on U of M. We'll get to it later. Talk about the Pistons. Finding new and creative ways to lose. Blow a 21-point lead in Boston last night. Force overtime, lose again. 28 straight. If you couldn't win last night when you were up 21, I don't know when you're when you're going to. Uh, but we'll talk about it. So a lot to do on a Friday. 248-539-9797. See where the people are at with it. David, you're batting leadoff. Lions, Michigan, either or, or both. Why? Are the fan bases so quiet this week? I think Lions fans have settled in and said, the division, that's all I got. That's all I'll take. I don't need anything else. I think they've really settled in and celebrated too strongly, and that's all they're willing to accept at this point. They don't expect a win against the Cowboys. I don't expect them to beat the Cowboys, but I'm not saying it's going to be a blowout. I think they have a good chance on Saturday. But Lions fans, I think they have gone to hibernate and waiting on the playoffs. What's Michigan's excuse? I think Michigan's excuse is, I think you're right. I think they're looking at the Alabama name and saying, yeah, we have no shot. We haven't done it the last two years. Now we got Bama. The whole, we wanted Florida State is in their head still. But see, that's all stuff that's not real, David. I agree with you. That's not real. I don't care that you're playing Alabama. It, I, I don't think, much like I've said, I don't think you're as good as last year. I don't think this Bama team's as good. Correct. And you have certain advantages that I, I don't understand why you'd be afraid. See, and, and that's the thing, because when we talked about it yesterday, I came on here and I told you, I don't think Michigan wins, but I don't, I'm don't i not scared of Alabama. I'm not saying that it's going to be a blowout. There's a chance for Michigan to win. I just don't think it will happen. There are some out there that that I believe in. Oh, it's Bama. There's no shot here. Yeah, I don't buy that. There, what do you mean there's no shot? I don't buy it. Which team do you have a higher degree of confidence in this weekend? Michigan or Lions? Lions. Really? I do. I do. Something about the Cowboys just doesn't sit right with me their last couple games. They just don't look right. Well, and I know uh, what they look like at home. That's right. I get it. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Which game... Do you have a higher degree of confidence in? For me, it'd be Michigan. Obviously, I could just point to the point spread if you wanted. You're a favorite and Lions are underdogs. You're on a neutral field. Lions are on a true hostile road game. Um, Both Michigan and Alabama come in on even terms. You come in off an emotional high. Dallas comes in off an emotional low. Like, I can give you reasons. But I I don't look at this Alabama team the way I've looked at other Alabama teams. I don't look at this Alabama team the way I looked at Georgia. Oh, well, Alabama beat Georgia. Right. In that one particular game, one 60-minute period of time, they got it done on that day. Yeah, because matchups matter. Right. If Georgia and Alabama play 10 times, I think Georgia wins seven or eight of them. They got Georgia all kinds of banged up. They got Georgia missing some guys. And on that day, they were able to do something to Georgia that really nobody does. They bullied them. They won the line of scrimmage. But overall, would I pick you to beat Georgia? No, I would not. But I think you can beat this team. I am more confident in U of M than I am the Lions. And maybe I have it backwards. Or maybe they both win. Maybe both get thrown in a garbage can. That's the beauty of it. But I, I want I want to mix it up. Talk to both fan bases simultaneously as we go through today. No TJ, flight leaves right now, basically. 10 after 2, they're in the air on their way to Dallas. Uh, Who said it'll happen? Picks will happen. Football today will happen. And we'll get to you guys. All of it, jam-packed Friday, next, 97.1.